Hey friends, how are you doing? I'm finally getting around to a project that I've been meaning to do for several months now. Making some celery salt. Remember that freeze dried celery that I had that I wasn't very really happy with? This stuff. I've tried it dehydrated, I've tried it freeze dried. I guess now we're gonna try it celery salt. So from what we research I have found, you need to use equal parts celery to equal parts salt. Well, I don't think that's going to work for me today because I, I think what you could do is grind it down to a powder and then maybe do equal parts. But what I'm wanting to do is I bought this it's almost like a big rock salt, like you would use for making ice cream, but I don't, it's a Himalayan pink salt, and I don't have any, really any other use for this. So we're gonna open this up, and I'm gonna put, this is my dry blend pitcher. And I'm going to put, I think, a half a cup of salt in. And then I'm going to put, I think, at least three times as much of the celery. Maybe four. Because it really does break down. Now the smell of celery is there, it's good. I just do not like how it reconstitutes. I think I'll go ahead and have this on the ready in case we need it. Wow, guys, that was quick. Oh, wow. I do think we need more salt, though. Let me put another salt in there and see what happens here. I don't know if I need that. <clears throat> I think <coughs> oh, that's a really strong powder. I think for now I'm just gonna put everything into this half gallon. What oh, we fell here. I think for now I'm gonna put everything in this half gallon jar. See what happens now. Now, let's see if we can do a little bit of a taste test here. This was a one to two ratio. Oh. That's plenty salty.
Ooh. I think this was a, a one to three. Way too salty. I'll tell you what. I'm going to grind the rest of that up and add to the salt and see what happens. Okay. Let's try just just the uh, celery. You know that's kind of salty. It is salty on its own, and then a little bitter at the end. I'm going to kind of try to mix all this up and see what we think. I like not putting quite as much salt in because I want it to have a little green color. Okay. Let's give that a taste. Mm. I think that's perfect. Whew definitely salty you can definitely taste the celery I think it's gonna be okay what I think I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and <clears throat> for now leave it in this jar I think I'll probably try to find some fun smaller jars to put this in but for now I'm just gonna have one big bulk jar and then I'll later I'll have a smaller jar to put it in to cook with but wow guys I I finally saved that celery. Who'd have guessed? So we used two cups of the big chunk salt that I didn't know how I was going to use. And we used about 16 cups of freeze dried celery. So that's our ratio. One to four? Is that right, math? <laughs> Let's say so. One to four. I decided to go get into my dehydrated section. And I've got some dehydrated celery. Oh, wow. It takes on a different smell. But we're going to go ahead and try to see what happens when we pulse this up here. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do it by itself first and see what happens. Helps plug it in. Okay. 
it is definitely going to pulse just as good as the other did. So, I'm going to add some salt and some more celery. And we'll just kind of keep doing this until it's all powder. making this stuff homemade is look how fine I can get this. Let's give it a quick taste test here. I got the salt right. So we had four cups to one of these. So I think four to one is a really good ratio whether you freeze dry or dehydrate. I'm gonna pour this back into this jar. Now I just need to put a thing that says salt and I'll use this one upstairs first and then I'll put this one into storage. was a quick and easy little project we did together and I'm so glad I finally got it done. It's been weighing on me to get that project done. Winter season is coming upon us. We're going to be doing lots of cooking and that celery salt is going to come in so handy. I'm so glad that we did that together friends. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.